Tractor, they say it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Well, you wouldn't know that from looking out our window. It's about 85 degrees out there yeah, today in Florida. Yeah, I mean, and plus we had like a huge rainstorm with like hurricane season this morning, and I got up. Yeah, you know, but hey, we have these wild swings in weather now. You yeah. know, when they talk about you know global warming yeah. and all that kind of crap. What we're really having is global extreme weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we next week they're saying that it's going to be like 15 below in Chicago or something. Yeah, well, I'll expect it up there. But, yeah, know, but not not in right. December. But you know, the thing is, all kinds of traditions are changing during Christmas. Oh, yeah. And one of those we're going to talk about is what the Black Hatters are doing with your Christmas. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they've are been they're been getting better at their Christmas shopping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, the, the Grinch has nothing on those boys. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're like getting their best, best shop on, if you right. will. Uh, especially now with IoT and all that other kind of stuff that's out there. Yeah, well, it makes it easy to get in. I mean, that's the whole point, you know, because if they get into one device, they can get in all of them. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we're going to talk about all those things. I mean, when I think about the average person who's using all these devices, because right. there are more and more people. I mean, right, there's more smartphones today than there are people, mm -hmm. right? So these people think that, you know, if you ask them, you know, are you feeling more secure than you were a year ago? And a lot of people say, well, I'm feeling, feeling pretty secure. The reality is, it's actually less secure right. today than it was a year ago. Well, you know, you can stick your head in the sand only so long. Right. Because well, you don't have when you stick your head in the sand, you leave, you leave your butt wide open to get kicked, <laughs> you know. And that's exactly what happens. Most people, that's exactly they, don't, they don't know what's happening until all of a sudden they've got some ransomware issues, you know. They're, they're and, and again, I've, I've known up. several people this year that have gotten ransomware. Uh -huh. Several people that their accounts have been compromised, their IDs have been stolen, yep. their bank accounts have been fleeced. Right. Literally emptied their bank accounts. Yeah. So th it's it's actually much worse now than it's ever been, and it's going to get continuously worse. Yeah, and by the way, if uh, somebody hacks into your bank account, the bank doesn't give it back. Yeah, yeah they don't care. FDIC doesn't cover that, apparently. Yeah, it's, it's up to you. So before we get into heavily into all the, the, right. the fun stuff about the Black Hat Christmas here, we want to give the callers the, the call in number. It's, okay. So it's 213-943-3808. You can also find us by going to Work in the Web to Win. There you'll find links to Blogger, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the other different places that you can log in and, and follow up with us. Um, you know, Vibrant Life Health Center has been our, our sponsor all year. Mm -hmm. Great company. As a matter of fact, uh, we were shooting one of their shows this morning. We were shooting four of the shows. Oh, this four the, yeah. <laughs> and you know, that's really if you want to, if you have any kind of pain issues or anything like that, they're a really great place to go. If you have just weird stuff that's going on, they have all kinds of different kinds of testing that they can do to figure out what's going on. Because a lot of people keep going to a doctor, keep going to a doctor. Well, that's because they go to the doctor when they're sick. Okay, that's the wrong time to go to the doctor. Most doctors don't help you stay well. well and no, that's what, what, what you know, basically... Well, I would even say does. that you might go to the doctor and the doctor says, well, it might be this, it might be that, it might be that. And you never get really to the problem. Yeah, right. They give you a bunch of stuff. If you go to Dr. John, he's going to find what the heck the problem is, and they're going to address the problem. And they have lots and lots of very powerful diagnostics tools that yeah. are scientifically based to help you find what your problem is so you can get rid of that problem so you can get well. You know, and, of course, they're the premier Nutrimost Center in Jacksonville. They were the first one here. Mm -hmm. And they have hundreds and hundreds of testimonials of their people who just love them. That you know they lost lots and lots of weight. You're one of them. I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. I lost 34 pounds in 40 days, and really a fabulous program. Seven months in now, and yeah. haven't gained a pound weight. Um, Thanksgiving went by. Yeah. Chomped out big time. Still didn't gain any weight. I mean, it's Our really. Our stuff's full of chili this weekend. Yeah, did, doing fine. Didn't, didn't get any weight. So <laughs> it's a it's a kind of program that's really really powerful. Um, so we're talking about you know. Cybersecurity and black hatting during Christmas. Right. And we've written about this in the past. So well, we have to because it evolves yeah. at the speed of light. As a matter of fact, every year it seems like they're getting bolder and more brazen and all that kind of stuff. And we wrote about, I mean, the first one I think we wrote up was a bite before Christmas. Yeah. And that was about talking about black hatting. It wasn't just about black hatting though. That year we also talked about, you know, the misbehaving that started about that year. Right. I mean, you know, when people break open the doors in Walmart and they go crazy and start beating each other up over, you know, <laughs> Yeah, the, the Barbie doll or whatever. Right, yeah, yeah, that started about 2012, 2013, something like that, and we started writing about it then. And then we wrote about the Grinch uh, goes digital, right? And that was about twelve scams of Christmas, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's there's more than twelve, but that right. was the twelve big ones that we wrote right. about. And and those scams have been continuously growing. Like I remember that year we wrote about 
you know, it was UPS mm-hmm. fake emails that were going out. Oh, yeah, yeah, FedEx, that. UPS, all the big carriers. Oh, yeah, your, your, your package yeah. is caught in transit. We need your information. Right. Eh, wrong eh. answer. Thanks for playing. And people were doing that. Yeah. It was really crazy. People, I mean, you know, I'd pick up the phone. Right. That's what I would do the first thing you call. Or right. I would say, wait a minute, I didn't order anything. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, and the thing too is, it's not just, you know, because we're 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 fairly aware. I mean, yeah. you can't be one hundred percent aware because there are right. some new stuff to zap you with. But we're fairly aware. But a lot of people, especially the elderly, they don't have a clue. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, one of one of our one of my contacts who no longer lives in Jacksonville, she called me up and she's like, "You got to help me." And I go, "Okay, what's going on?" She goes, "Well, my dad has gotten hacked. His bank account got hacked because basically he hired people who he thought were IT guys." Right, to they work were IT machine. fleecing his, yeah. his computer. And, and you, know what, you want to hear the punchline? After she told him, well, you know, don't do that, she changed everything, he let him right back in again. Mm-hmm. He said, oh, yeah, they're on my computer, they're fixing it. I said, well, you might have to do to your dad what, what you don't want to do, right, which right. is take away take his, his damn keys. device. Right. It's, it's like when you can't be driving right. Well, I did that to my dad. Take the keys away. Well, you could take the keys away from the computer, too. Like, you just take the computer away. Yeah. I mean, I told her. I said you might have to do that because you know he's not going to forget who he's or, getting ripped or you, off by. You take it right back when, when, you, when he wants to use it, you bring it out. Yeah. Say hey, okay, go use. It. Um, so like, ha- hackers have been yeah. going crazy in 2015. There was tons and tons of really big hacks. Target, you name it. I mean, there was a bunch of big ones in there. Yeah. Well, in 16, they they hit the banks for 80 million dollars. Right. And fed. Yeah. And on top of that, Yahoo got busted in where they, they yeah. took a bunch of old email accounts. And I had an old email account, but here's the thing with Yahoo. What hackers do is they'll take that old email address and whatever password is with it, they'll try and then use that on other places that they find to see if they can break into your stuff that way. But here's the, the deal. They're coming for you right now. It, hackers <laughs> did some pretty serious damage. Like the, one of the most profile big hacks was Friend Finder. Right. You know, where, where all these people who were like doing the dating on the side got caught with their their pants down, literally, because friends of said, hey, we're gonna expose you all. And it was like 412 million accounts. Now that's a lot of people wow. cheating on the side, wow. okay? And when I, when we wrote this, you know, a lot of people said, well, they deserve it, <laughs> right? They're doing all this bad stuff on the side. Well, how about Anthem Health? They got hit for 80 million accounts. Mm-hmm. And MySpace got hit for 164 million accounts. Yeah. And really, there's only a couple of them. I mean, I put a link to an article in there that had the, the biggest you know, breaches for 2016. There was like dozens and dozens and dozens right. of them. And that, I know, that wasn't even complete. Right. So And it's coming from all over the globe. So right, it's right. not like it's right. any place you can point a finger and say, okay, there it is, yeah. get those guys. And then on top of that, there was... Hundreds and hundreds of celebrities that were they were. Oh yeah, because well, most celebrities aren't super co- smart computer well, people plus anyway. They're, they're they're obvious targets. Yeah. Well, how about Zuckerberg? Yeah. He got hit again. Right. Okay. Well, I told you that one time. What was it? We showed the picture yeah. of his, his uh, computer where it had right. the tape over the handed yeah. over over because the camera and getting, the microphone because he keeps getting, getting hacked. Keep getting hacked. Um, you know, and in the article I talk about Sundar and Jack Dempsey, uh, Dorsey, and so on. But I thought one of the biggest deals was, you know. Anonymous and China and Russia and all the terrorists doing all their hacking, but the political. This was a year for a presidential course, election right. and, and also a lot of congressional elections right. and so on. And this year, hacking played a major role, mm-hmm. in my opinion, in the presidential election because if it wasn't for hacking, we wouldn't have known anything about the DNC, you right. know, essentially rigging the Democratic election. Because right. <laughs> Bernie didn't have a chance no. the way that was going. And of course, we wouldn't know about the the emails from Benghazi and the DNC's other stuff oh, yeah. and the, yeah, a lot the of Clinton dirty Foundation. Came out yeah, at the end. Yeah, and one of the things that hackers are good for, especially anonymous, which again, all hacking is criminal acts. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I, I don't. Could, I don't condone. Yeah, anonymous. I don't. I don't condone <laughs> those guys. But when the government is cheating on us, mm-hmm. they're sort of like they can be the backup to make sure government don't cheat. Right. You don't. You may hate Snowden because he leaked all kinds of government secrets, but he also leaked the fact that they were spying on us 19 right. ways from Sunday. Yeah, you're I mean, they were collecting every phone call. I they mean, are. they were collecting everything. Yeah, literally, that's what they're doing. Okay, it's so you may hate Snowden for the for blanket surveillance for, for all the other stuff that he leaked, mm-hmm. but at least he told us that they were doing that. and They shouldn't have been doing any of that mm-hmm. stuff. I mean, that's crazy. Well, this is America. Like a series on TV called uh, was it Persons of Interest about mm-hmm. the the, the 
big super AI hacking co uh, computer that's got the surveillance on everybody that the government's using. It's like, that could be real. Right. Well, they just actually passed a new law, and I don't have the, the details in front of me, but they passed a new law that allows the U.S. to hack people. That's what I'm saying. So it's when crazy. we're talking about, you know, Russia and China and yeah. terrorism, guess what? The U.S. Where government is hacking people, too. Yeah. So I don't even think that for, as a matter of fact, the new law says that they can hack people for certain reasons. Right. Anybody. Right. Not just certain people. Anybody. Well, I mean, you see all the cameras. I mean, you don't have any, any you know, yeah, privacy Privacy anymore. doesn't exist. It, it's I mean, gone. Wrote an article about, you know, Rest the, the piracy of privacy in yeah. the United States a long time ago. Um, as a matter of fact, this year, my own personal story is, I got several Facebook accounts from my book and so on, and I get a call from a friend. He says, hey, are you trying to get uh, donations for this charity? I said, what charity? <laughs> he says, well, there's a, there's a Facebook page that says you're looking for donations for this charity. So I immediately go on Facebook. And there's a Facebook page that's got my pictures and everything on I'm looking at it I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. That's not my account. Right. Because they had like Hector Cisneros E1. Right. I'm like, that ain't my account. Right. So I quickly get onto Facebook and I say, hey, this isn't my account. It's a fake account. And well, to Facebook's credit, they pulled it down within 15 minutes. Yeah. But, okay. but if your friend hadn't called you... Right. If my friend hadn't called you, the happen. people who were connecting to that, yeah. they could have been fleeced because once you turn over your credit right. card information to make this donation, you're boop, you're done. So good thing that that happened, that he called me and everything. And of course, I monitor my stuff regularly. But it was really, really hard to tell the difference between right. the one I created and one this criminal created. I mean, they looked almost identical. The only thing, the dead giveaway was it wasn't as much information you know in the timeline, the timeline yeah. and then the, also the name i right. mean i knew that i didn't have no h e says narrow one or whatever oh, it yeah. was. I mean, yeah, well like i said you know this is very easy for somebody to spoof you because they can grab all the right. stuff from your real site right it's there's nothing it's a, to do it's that. a clone it's like a copying machine right. it's really uh, the stuff is not protected they you, you they can't stop you from downloading right. the pictures and all that kind of stuff so that's that's a big issue and again the point that I'm making about this is nobody's in me, and I'm not a big celebrity or anything like that. Yeah, I but mean, I'm sure that's this same thing is happening to celebrities. Because oh, yeah, yeah. why would you not get into somebody's account that has millions of followers, right. right? But here's the thing: say you have two followers, right? You're not immune. <laughs> that's the point I'm trying to get. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the average person studies show that their passwords are like A, B, C, and one, two, three, yeah. and stuff like that every year. So. The average person doesn't have security. Now, one of the things that's, that's a trend that's going on that I think is a good trend right. is a lot of the companies and apps and so on are starting to force you to use better passwords. Right. Like now when you when you log into Google Chrome and so on or Google, uh, email, Gmail and so, mm -hmm. they make you type in the password. It used to be you could always save them. Now you have to type it in. That's right. sort of a cool thing. Um, but again, the average person doesn't have layers of protection or any of that kind of stuff. They're sort of flying by the seat of the pants. Well, As a matter of fact, if you ask the average Apple user, yeah, I don't have any. Right. Any well, and, you know, the thing is, is that most people have at least some form of, at least one yeah. level of, of, you know, some type of protection on their machine. But all the IoT devices right. have all, none. All the, new, all the new devices don't have anything. And that brings up a couple of things. Hackers are getting really good at hacking infrastructure and stuff like that. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, this year they brought a whole country down to its knees, uh, the Ukraine, mm -hmm. that they hacked the, the electrical grid. And they knocked it out for like three days. Yeah, I'm the one that told you about that. <laughs> and, and I saw several news articles and so on. And again, they're in a sort of a state of war there. Yeah. Um, but don't think that that can't happen here. I mean, we, we know that yeah. the Chinese and several other have been probing our electrical right. grid for several years, at least four years, if not more. Right. And on top of that, with all these new IoT devices out there, you know, Internet of Things devices, smart TVs, well, and refrigerators, with, even, and all even that. with the electrical grid, okay? Because up until recently, basically, we had the the you know the analog uh, devices to controlling them, right? Yeah, what do you call them? That they have in the wall, the meters. Oh, meters. Those meters, yeah. yeah. They're analog meters. Well, now they switched to digital meters that are using Wi-Fi. Right. So you you just you just set it up for hacking. I mean, you couldn't make it any easier for hackers. The analog was yeah. the solution. There's, there's no antivirus on these devices. No. That's, there's no antivirus on your TV. There's no antivirus on your refrigerator. And as a matter of fact, one of the articles I put in, in, in ours was talking about how hackers hacked home devices causes massive internet outage in the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Because what they did was they put all these zombie bots right. and all these devices like refrigerators and so on, and then they had those devices attack 
the internet infrastructure. Yeah. And they didn't bring it down everywhere, but it slowed it down to a crawl where people were saying, damn, I can't watch my Netflix and all that. And people were getting all upset. Right. And guess what? You need to make sure you put that antivirus on that smart TV or whatever. Yeah, but, but like I said, most but, people don't even, that's not even available. But it's not device. even available on any of them. Right. I mean, I have a Samsung TV that has one. It's, it's not available. You you can't get an antivirus for them. Yeah, well, that's like my car, okay? Because my car is a, you know, 2015 car. So I could have made my car so that I could access it with my smartphone. Yeah. I never set that up because the last thing I want to do is allow somebody else to be able to remotely access the car. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's like, you know, would you like hacking or no hacking section? When, you know, it's like, remember when you just go to the restaurant smoking or not smoking? Not well, like I remember, remember or no last hacking. year the article when we were talking about smart cars and, and robots and all that kind of stuff. And how this guy hacked the car while this guy was driving. Yeah. So he hacked it and he was like, holy smokes, what's going on? Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, and especially as these cars get more and more autonomous. I mean, right. that's a real danger. Right. So here's a couple of articles that you really want to look at. One's called Getting Faked Out on Facebook. Uh, another one is the cybercrime clock is ticking. Big Brother built in, which is about all these IoT devices, mm -hmm. and our trolls taking over the internet. And the, the must, 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 must read one is the state of internet privacy and security in America today. That has like 24 different articles listed in yeah. it that talks about all this stuff 19 ways from Sunday. So in this article, we put together like a, a dozen things that you ought to be thinking about that you need to be looking at to do if you want to keep you know, the bad guys from busting yep. down the door and getting all your stuff. So the first one that we do here extensively is have a layered defense. Mm -hmm. a layered defense means you need to have a good firewall and router and all that kind of stuff. But you have to have a, a good browser. And a browser doesn't have to be Chrome. And if no. you're going to use Chrome, I would tell you that you want to make sure that you do two-step authentication. You know, because Chrome is not a private browser. No, in fact, I didn't even <laughs> install it on, my, on the right. new laptop. Right. I'm just going strictly with, I'm going to go with Komodo and Komodo then Dragon. <laughs> Firefox is pretty, you know, pretty secure. Uh, when I'm wanting to, to surf really secure, I use Tor. Mm -hmm. On your yeah, router. router, yeah. Okay, that's what all the hackers use, believe it or not. Yeah. That's what they, okay, and then on top of that, if you're going to use that and you really want to be safe, then log in through a VPN, a virtual private network. Then it's really, really, really hard to track all your stuff mm -hmm. that's going on. Uh, then eliminate, you know, just using Google for everything. Right. Google's not necessarily the best browser out there anyway. I mean, the best search engine. Mm -hmm. Use DuckDuckGo. Right. There are a whole bunch of other ones out there, but then you're not being tracked. Right. The tracking, you leave cookies. Essentially, you leave breadcrumbs. Yeah. So people can follow you back to get in. Yep. Get into your site, and that's one of the things that you're trying to avoid. Uh, a simple thing that a lot of people don't do is they don't keep their systems up to date. Right. You know, make sure that you got up to date auto on. Although it's sort of a pain in the butt. I mean, my my brand new smartphone has been updated like eight times, and I just bought it like two months ago. <laughs> okay. Your computers update regularly if you have a Windows right. computer. Apple not so much. All the Android devices. If you have an old one, they're not being updated. Yeah. So that, that also makes them vulnerable. All right. And make sure you have a reasonably good password, yeah. too, you know. And what's reasonably good today is not what it used to be. So right. eight digits used to be a reasonably right. good password. Not anymore. Today it's like 12 digits. Mm -hmm. And it ought to have a couple of special characters, upper and lower case, and a number. Mm -hmm. You know, make it make it really it hard, up. you right. know. And change them once a year. Mm -hmm. Although it's sort of a pain in the butt for a lot, change it once a year. It's yeah. not that big a deal. You add a new digit onto it. You take out an X or whatever. That's a simple thing to do. Minimize the use of IoT devices. You know, uh, that's more of a problem for you than me. Right. I mean, I have a I have a Alexa in my office, so it's ours here for the company. But a lot of times I turn it off. Right. Okay. My computers, when I go to bed, they turn themselves off. Yeah. I, I start the scanning and everything, and when yeah. it's done, it shuts itself off. Don't leave your machines running twenty four seven. That's yeah. another way Before of I go getting back. Turn right. off my smartphones. Yeah. You don't need all these things on. Right. I mean, they don't need to be on. And if they're on, they can be hacked. I mean, it's that simple. Um, use a throwaway email address. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a lot of surfing and, and going into sites and logging in mm -hmm. and leave, get an email address that you're not going to use. You can go, you can get a free Google email address. You can get a Hotmail address. You can get, you know, um, a free Yahoo mail email address, especially if you want one that's been hacked. Yeah, um, that's a simple thing to do. On top of that, if you use a credit card a lot, you can get throwaway credit cards. Right. So you can use one-use credit cards, or you can use refillables and that stuff like that, but it limits your exposure. That's the big deal about using them. Um, 
pay attention to the URLs that you're visiting. A big thing today is making sure that they're HTTPS, so they have, you know, a, a secure certificate. Well, not only that, especially if somebody emails you a URL. Right, right. yeah, come to FedEx or whatever, and it's FedEx. CU or something. Yeah, or FedEx 1 or something right. like that. And you got to be very careful because, like I said, they can get very close to it. And if you don't notice, you're going to get zapped. Yeah. And it, that's one of the primary schemes that they just started maybe a year or two ago mm -hmm. that they've been doing. So, and I, I know they're doing it a lot this year. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the ways that people are getting into you. You think you actually logged into something, right. and now they have your stuff, and now they can backdoor you 19 or, ways. Or, or be very, very careful if a friend emails you and says, hey, check out this site, and give right. you a link. Yeah, get this special deal on Echo. Right, because and bottom line is, guess what? Hackers can you know get email addresses by the boatload, and then they'll, they'll emulate, they'll spoof your friend, right. and then you're going to click on something, and you're going to get malware immediately. Yeah, always be very, very careful. I called you a couple times. Did you send me this? Yeah, I did. Okay, I click on it then. Yeah. You know, because I mean, I'm not going to do so that. You don't want to click on easy. it, and it's easy enough for them to upload just about anything. You don't even have to click on say upload. You yeah. can click on something, and that that yeah. instruction was to upload. Right. <laughs> so you have to be real careful in there. Um, when you travel to grandma's house, especially if it's a long distance or something like that, get you a, a cheap travel phone. Right. You know, you can get a you can get a smartphone for yeah. twenty nine ninety five. Right. And don't tell all the thieves that you're leaving town for a week. Right. And, <laughs> uh, and when you when you travel with it, don't put all your financial information in the phone. Yeah, but all these people that put it in their phone. Oh, I'm at the airport. Right. Heading They're already to, sending heading pictures. Heading to Hawaii. Sending pictures yeah. to their Facebook page, you know, and that kind of stuff. Um, if you're really serious, you know, I mean, like Hillary should have had one of these. She should have had a black phone. Yeah. Not a Blackberry and a tablet and all, you know, the 13 other devices she had. She could have gotten a secure phone. Sure. You'd think government guys right. would have would know that. You know, right. black phones and so on. They don't have that. Um, a lot of the social sites have it where you can go in and tighten up the security on the social site. So they have, like Facebook has a security tool. Right. If you have Trend Micro, it can go in there and check for security sure. issues on Twitter and Facebook and so on. And you need to do that security checkup on those because mm -hmm. a lot of times what's happening is you have your stuff exposed to everybody and their brother. You need to make it so only your best of friends can see your stuff. Right. You know, that kind of deal. Um, last two are, if you have uh, elderly parents, mm -hmm. we talked we a, little about bit, it. a little bit. Yep. You want to make sure that you're keeping a really close eye on them because they're the most vulnerable. Of course. People are calling them up. Ducks. With, yeah, people are calling them up with all kinds of scams. I mean, the reality is you need to really be engaged with them because right. they are extremely vulnerable. They come from a much more trusting environment. Well, not to mention a lot of people, like, you know, my parents, when they're getting older, you know, their faculties aren't what right. they used to be. So, I mean, they're like I said, they're sitting ducks. Yeah. And, you know? and these people are really practiced at deceiving these elderly people. They're, yeah, they're professionals, you know. Yeah. But my, my, the last one's the best one. Yeah. Don't do stupid stuff. Yeah, right. There's no <laughs> cure for this one. So you, there's no tool you can buy. If you're stuck on stupid, sorry. Yeah, yeah it, there, again, if you if you insist on going to porn sites and all this other kind of stuff, you can assume that you're going to be attacked. Yeah. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that stuff. So one of the best places to get attacked, if you really want to get attacked, Go to the free movie sites right. <laughs> and download that, that, that first run movie and all the other stuff that comes with it, okay? You know, or or you gotta download those free porn pictures yeah. and the movies, you know. Yeah. You're gonna well, get all plus, kinds like of stuff. Plus, like I said, be very careful that you double and triple check anything coming through email. Because even if it sounds like it's your bank or it sounds like it's you know, your your cell phone carrier, it might not be. Right. And there are other things. I mean, if you read through all the articles, especially on the list that I give you, I mean, there's sandboxy where you can set up a sandbox yeah. thing. And but I mean, the thing too the is, router. like I said, you know, you, you, your cell phone can actually be used for making phone calls. Give yeah. them a phone and call. Say, did yeah. you send me this? Right. Because I almost got zapped one time because I thought it was GoDaddy, and I called them up, and they're like, no, nah, it wasn't us. Yeah. And there are a lot of sites that even are sort of fakey things, like you click on it, and it says, this is ransomware, and you think you can't right. get out of it. Well, you really, you shouldn't have shut the machine off immediately before they fully uploaded their stuff. So be, be diligent, and don't be stupid. I mean, there's a lot of stupid stuff out there. There's no deal worth it. Yeah. There's no $50 Amazon Echo that you got to have. Right. Or Google yeah. My Home thing for $25. Yeah, like, like you said, you want, you want to have a happy Christmas, I'll make a Merry Christmas for the crooks. Right. So, I know it's time for the Worldwide Weird. Yes. So, what we got going on this Well, this we're, week? since we're getting into the kind of holiday season here, 10 strange traditions from around the world during Christmas. 
So, so what's number one? Yeah, well, the first one was from Norway, of all things. This is kind of weird, but it's... Is it it's, sort of weird? Close to where Christmas sort of started. Actually. Yeah, yeah, actually, actually, close to the North Pole yeah. up there, right? But, but let me put it this way. They don't, they don't do what you expect, okay? It's, it's more, it sounds like more of something from Halloween, because it says, During Christmas Eve in Norway, you won't see any brooms around, because they're all kept hidden just in case any witches or evil spirits come by to steal them. <laughs> Only at Christmas, though. They yeah. don't come during Halloween. Right. Only you got, you got to protect those brooms because you just never know. And you, and you need brooms in the middle of winter. Yeah. Yeah, right. Hey, Japan, you, you're saying maybe they, they eat squid or something. Right. No, actually, you know what the Japanese do during Christmas Day? They go to KFC. They eat the Which is amazing chicken. that they got KFCs in Japan yeah. and they're doing well. Well, here, here's the weird thing was, and that, this is one of the reasons why this thing became a tradition. It actually happened back in 1974. Apparently, KFC set up a marketing campaign they were targeting foreign tourists, but it's a good deal that all the locals piled in there and they've been doing it ever since. It's, it's like a yearly so, tradition so now. now when, it, when it's Christmas time in Japan, we're going to go get, get your crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you like the chicken, I thought what do you, was what the do you think about one. pickles? Because this is from Germany. I didn't know this. It says, in Germany, they hide a pickle in the Christmas tree and the first child who finds it wins a gift. Yeah, they win a free pickle. They win a free pickle. <laughs> <laughs> There's a second one in Germany, too, which is kind of strange. It says... In Germany, you know how we do the stockings? Right. They don't do that. They say German children leave their shoes outside the home, and they get filled with sweets at night. But if they've been naughty, they find them filled with twigs. I was going to say sticks, you know, <laughs> or, or coal. Well, you do some coal. <laughs> Here, here's another weird one that sounds like something from Halloween. It's in Italy. Okay, it says, children don't wait for Santa Claus on December 25th. They wait for Bafana, a friendly witch who delivers presents on January 5th. And what country is this again? Italy. Italy. I was yeah. going to say Russia. But no, I mean, we're going to get to those. We haven't got to the East, <laughs> east yet. Canada's was kind of interesting. It says you can write a, a letter to Santa Claus posted to Santa Claus, North Pole, Canada, and they will accept the, you know, the mail, and then they'll write back. So you'll actually, you'll actually get a, uh, a return so we message should, from, we from should Santa. Be writing them, right? I'm surprised you haven't already done it. Okay. England, it sounds like something that we, we're kind of familiar. You know, they talk about you get called if you've been naughty. Right. Well, they said that actually they, they do leave uh, their stockings to be filled with sweets, but expect to receive call if they've been naughty. So that was one that, that kind of carried over, I guess, yeah. to us. But here's one that you've never heard. Now we're going to get to the, the Ukraine, right? Yeah. It says in the Ukraine, they forgo the traditional decorations for trees. Instead, get this, they put cobwebs and spiders as if it were Halloween. It's just some of these And then they get half. crossed. And then they get the yeah. electric green hair. Yeah. <laughs> here's, here's one that was really wild. Czech Republic. An unmarried woman throws a shoe over her shoulder by the door. If the shoe points to the door, she's believed to be married the following year. And it's because of Christmas. Yeah, that's strange. <laughs> that anything. Here's, here's another crazy one. In Estonia, and this is the last one. Family that saunas together stays together. He says it's apparently a tradition for families to head to the sauna during Christmas in Estonia. <laughs> You think they would do that in Canada, where it's really cold, or Norway, right? Well, it could be pretty cold there, I would imagine. Not like it is. It's not like being in Norway, though. I mean, you're up around the Arctic Circle. I know we got we got like about an hour, um, a minute, yeah, a minute left. Um, I want to remind uh, the clients, you know, check out our sponsor, uh, VibrantLifeHealthCenter.com. Uh, they also have a great blog. They have links to all their sites in there. They have a couple specials going on right now. You get a free Titron scan, which is, which is a non-invasive scan. They can tell you about all kinds of things about which, what's wrong with your body right. and what's right with your body. For that matter. It's a great diagnostics tool for the doc. Uh, it, it really corresponds if you have problems with your spine and all that kind of stuff. But it's also really good for diagnosing why you're getting head colds and all that kind of stuff all the time. Uh, and they also have a special for the, uh, it's not the BMI, it's a body composition uh, analysis, analysis mm -hmm. where it's like normally a hundred bucks you get it for twenty seven dollars and it's a great way to prepare for your twenty seventeen onslaught of you know I'm gonna lose weight type of thing mm -hmm. and again if you want to lose weight there's a guarantee their program has a guarantee well, one of the really strange Christmas traditions I used to see here in this country is you know I used to spend a lot of time traveling around to the casinos and I always noticed that around Christmas what they would do is you'd see just loads and loads of Orientals because apparently they don't celebrate Christmas, right. so the the casinos would market to them. You'd walk into town. It's like, when did I just walk into Chinatown? Right. They all they all coming in to, yeah. to, to to do a little gambling just for the grin stuff. Um, for our, our listeners out there, make sure you go to the notes page. There's a whole bunch of links to really good articles. Also, go to the links into the articles in the blog itself. There's really some really useful information that you'll find there. Uh, Club WQ members, go to the Dropbox. You're gonna get all the good stuff there. 
Yeah, as and, they say uh, in Japan, Merry Christmas. Yeah, and we have uh, next week's show will be my annual prediction show. So make sure you take care of that. Keep working with doing, gang. Until next time, guys.